welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey, so today is the second video. I'm putting out a video a day all this week, and I had to reshoot all the openings because I had no internet for three weeks. But now I'm back to the land of the Wi-Fi, and I'm popping out all these videos because most of them are collaborations that I signed up for prior to my internet going wah, wah, wah. On today's video, I was graciously asked by my friend Leanne over at the Mennonite Farmhouse to join in on Soup Timber. Now, I love me some soups. It's slowly getting cooler here in Georgia. Um, I think in the mornings now, it's getting to like 47, but still during the day, it's like 79. But we're getting close to the soup kind of weather time. Um, and I was really excited to do this video. What I am doing on the video today is I'm actually making, I don't know if people know, I'm going to put the picture right here of the powdered potato soup mix. Um, and since I've started this homesteading journey, I've always said if I can do it myself, I'm going to do it instead of buying the processed stuff. So on today's video, I am making a homemade potato soup, all from stuff that I grow here, um, besides the milk. I don't grow the milk. Um, so if that is something that interests you, stick around. I'm coming home. Alrighty, so again, I'm pre-shooting all of this opening stuff, so I'm trying to magically edit everything out that I had shot before. Um, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be making a shelf stable potato soup powder. So it's going to be a powder so that all you have to do is add boiling water to it. And that could be a soup over the winter or if the grid goes down, so on, so forth, that kind of stuff. All of the stuff that I use product wise will be in the description box below um, in our Amazon storefront. If you want to go ahead and pick it up and try this recipe, it costs you no more, but it just shows Amazon that you came from us and I greatly appreciate it. So enough of me, blah, 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 and let's go ahead and get into the video. Alrighty, y'all. So I have my quart jar here. We're going to go ahead and make it. I'm going to seal it. Um, if you would like to see how I rehydrate it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I'll do another video or I may do a short on Instagram. But um, I got my little canning funnel here just because it makes it easy so I don't make a mess. But the first thing we're going to put in is we're going to put in two cups of dried potato flakes. Now, I learned how to do this. Let me make sure I get it in the camera. I learned how to do this from Jessica over at Three Rivers Homestead. Basically, leftover potatoes. I put it in a lined dehydrating uh, tray um, and I dehydrate it usually about 16 to 18 hours and then I put it into my Vitamix and I blend it up into the powder so I can have reconstituted mashed potatoes. So that is the first thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do two cups. There's one cup. Two cups. So that is of the mashed potato powder. I'm just gonna give it a good little jiggle. All of them are pretty much gonna be pretty close to the same color, but I'm gonna switch things up just so it does have somewhat of a prettier color. I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of cheese powder. Now I use the Augustin Farm, let me see if I can get it. Augustin Farm cheese powder blend, y'all know I love them. Um, if you want to get you some Augustin uh, Farms freeze-dried food, um, I do have it in my Amazon shop in my description box. So go click on the link, head over there, and get you all of the yumminess to have in your pantry. Okay, so now we have two cups of the potato. We have a fourth of a cup of the cheese powder. And now I'm going to do two cups of milk powder. Just gonna give it a jiggle each time just so that we can get it all in there. Okay. 
And it's kind of some of the colors. I don't even know if y'all can see that on camera. Um, but now we're just going to add some of the seasonings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of it in the description box as well. Um, but it could pretty much be a tablespoon of everything. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of the garlic powder. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of uh, uh, some dehydrated onions. Now, I normally get the Augustine Farm one, but I'm out and I need to get some more. So I got this one from uh, the grocery store near my house. So I'm just going to do about, probably about a tablespoon of that as well. Now, you could also add um, some bacon bits to this, you know, because the bacon bits are shelf stable. Um, I don't want any bacon bits in this, so I'm not going to put it. And then I got some dehydrated chives that I'm going to just put right on the top of it. Again, about a tablespoon. I'm going to put a little bit more. Give it another shake. Give it another jiggle. Look how pretty that's looking. I mean, it's not as pretty as the other ones with all the different colors, but it's still very pretty. So now we're going to go over and we're going to um, suck the air out of it with our vacuum sealer and seal the lid onto the jar oh my god i almost forgot to add in my hoosier hill sour cream powder it's one of my favorites again just about probably about a tablespoon get over that little creamy taste to it all right now over to the suction thingy so we're over here at my food saver um again if you like the food saver that I use, there's always an affiliate link in my description box. And I have to use four jar lids. Why? Because I did a video a while back that the four jar lids are the only ones that seal um, to... Um, the only thing that seals um, these lids. Um, and I'm almost out, so I need to get some more. And if you would like to get some four jar lids, go ahead and use um, my link down below and use Ormsby 10 for 10% off of your four jar purchase. So what I'm gonna do is I have my lid on there, no ring needed, and I'm just going to push down till it seals. We're gonna make sure that the vacuum sealer is on and I'm going to vacuum and seal. And you're gonna hear a change in volume once it seals. I'm just going to pull straight up. And it's sealed, y'all. And this will keep for um, about 10 years, just like this. Just as long as you keep checking it, make sure nothing comes um, to, you know, messes up your seal. So you want to check it maybe once a year, maybe once every two years. Um, but this, y'all, is such a great um, gift for the holidays um, to give to a friend. I mean, this is double the size once it's rehydrated. So this is a quart. It probably will be two, three quarts of soup once it's rehydrated with water. Um, so great little holiday gift to give. Add a little cute little name tag um, to it, cooking instructions. But I also wanted to show you because I'm rehydrating uh, or sealing some more of my potatoes. Now, if you don't do your own potatoes, you can use the bagged potato, uh, potato flakes from the grocery store. They work just the same, same way. Um, but what we're going to do, same for this, is we're going to go ahead and seal it. And then we'll chit chat um, about the giving it away as a gift um, once I'm done with this. So I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, and again, as I said, this is, oh, it looks so much better in the light. Oh my gosh, lighting is everything. Um, I go ahead and label and date it. And how you would rehydrate this is you're just going to double the amount of water that this is. Um, if you want to see it in a video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll rehydrate this into a soup. It's a delicious, creamy potato soup. Again, wonderful for giveaways if you want to give it as a holiday gift, um, you know, to people at your church as a giveaway. Um, it's a great idea. I do these for like macaroni and cheese. I do it as soup. I also have a video on um, 
the cookie in a jar that I did last year. I'll leave a, a link up there so you can go and see it. But I do it for, again, the mac and cheese. I've done it for a beef um, and cheese uh, casserole, potato casserole. And I even do it for my dehydrated green beans because they stay nice and crispy. Again, they will double once they rehydrate. So this is a lot of food. So right, y'all, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you try it. If you do, make sure to tag me on social media so I can see all the beautiful powdered soup creations you have created. Thank you again to Leanne for inviting me. I had so much fun making this soup timber video. Um, I wish it would have come out actually when it was supposed to. Um, but I'm glad that it's coming out now and I will leave a playlist in the description box of all the amazing, amazing channels that collaborated in the soup timber, um, because soup timber was September. Um, and make sure if you are enjoying these type of videos from me that you are liking and subscribing and go ahead and press that bell icon. So you know that anytime that new content drops to my channel. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook at Ormsby Farm. And until next video, be blessed. Brr, get some soup. I'm coming home.